Travel Baseball Coach Justin here. I am giving you the Southern Oregon Generals 12U tournament schedule for the year 2024. If you take a look here, we got a total of 18 tournaments now booked on the uh, schedule. The ones in the faint orange are away tournaments. The one in faint green are home tournaments. We have four home and 14 away. In October, we'll add two more and one more in December, which will give us a total of 21. Now, if we take a look, we start our tournament organization or uh, first tournament in California at the end of February with Modesto, California through the TPR Baseball Organization. Then the very next week, we're in Reading at Big League Dreams through the 643athletics.com tournament organization. And then the third week in a row, we are at home at March Mayhem through the Medford Parks. Then we take a week off. And then we pack up and we go down to the Phoenix, Arizona, spring training through Triple Crown. That is a six-game guarantee. Um, then we come back. There's a week off in there. And then we come back home for spring classic through Medford Parks. And so we have five tourneys in the first seven weeks. So that is um, just coming out, <laughs> swinging, and playing a lot of baseball in seven weeks. Now, if we take a look at... Um, what our costs are. I'll show you the 2024, um, what it is for Southern Oregon Generals 12 U. It's $3,000 for the year. That's the fees. Covers all the tourney costs, covers all the uniforms, you know, equipment, baseballs, and field rentals that we use. And 20 to 25 tournaments per year, but this year it's going to be 21. Um, that's kind of where we're at right now. We have three practices per week, uh, 48 weeks. We hit 11 in pool and bracket play. We don't hit nine. On Sunday, Elimination Sunday, we, we hit 11. Um, the coaches are not paid, um, and we're a development team, so we don't pick up. Now, I say that, but if there are injuries and we're traveling with 10, we will pick up one player because we want to travel with 11. All right, now back to the tournament schedule. Um, after the five tourneys in seven weeks, we take two weeks off. Then we come back and we go up to Portland through West Coast Premier. And we hit their Border Wars tournament, which is a huge tournament up there. Up there. Um, take a week off and then we go back up to Vancouver through Northwest Nations, through their Mayhem tournament. Take another week off and we're in Bend. Um, let's see here at the Memorial Day um, um, tournament through West Coast Premier. It's really big. In our 12U bracket, there's 61 teams in that tournament. Of course, we always play major, D1, or open, or the highest level. So um, hopefully they stick us on the best fields out there. Um, I know you're laughing, but whatever. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we have a week off in June. And then we are at our first UG Northwest Nations tournament, which is the Ted Norman Memorial Complex, or also known as Willamette Valley Babe Ruth Fields at 5200 um, Babe Ruth Drive there in Eugene. These are the ones with uh, the four fields, 10U, 11U, 12U, or 5070, and they have the grass infields, which is, and they, and they groom them between each game. It's just great fields. We love playing there. And then after that, we go up to our first perfect game tournament, which are back-to-backs. One's in uh, June, a couple weeks break as we practice some more three days a week, and then we're back up to Vancouver in July again to a perfect game. Now, this is a new tournament organization for us called PCBYL, which stands for Portland Competitive Baseball Youth League, and we will be up in Eugene playing on playing in their tournament for the very first time. Then, uh, let's see here, a week off, and then we're back in Eugene for Northwest Nations for two tournaments in August. Take the... Um, First week of school off there, 9798, and then we go uh, right back into our third home tournament of the um, year, Medford Parks at Basha School. Then at the end of September, we go down to Reno, <clears throat> which is a Golden Eagle complex. If you haven't played there, it's a really nice uh, complex, turf fields, uh, really huge through River City Travel Ball. As you see, October, we don't have any tournaments, but we will have two in there. Um, we are on a waiting list for a home tournament in Mefford. We're hoping to get that with all the traveling we do, save some money, staying home to play. However, if not, um, we'll you'll see I have four different cities there, plus uh, we might be going to Vegas. However, I want to wait until we get back from the Phoenix, Arizona spring training tournament to see how the parents feel, see if they want to do another big tournament towards the last half of the season. Um, I have my suspicions that's probably a no. <laughs> However, if we do, we do. We're fundraising. Um, first week of November, we have another, um, our last home tournament of the season in Medford. And then at the end of, uh, 
what do you call it, uh, November there, we go down to Mather, California through River City Travel Ball. And we'll that'll be 13U because in California in November, you, everybody who's 12U will all, always move up. So it'll still be our same age group. It'll be just be our first 13U tournament. And we are planning on doing another tournament in December. Um, with that being said, those are eight tourney, different tourney organizations we utilize. I have 10, two of them, which is NCS All World and uh, Steens Park. We did not use this year, just didn't fit into our schedule. Um, however, uh, All World might fit into uh, the October schedule as, as they release their second half um, of the tournament thing. So, Trouble Baseball Coach Justin, that's our tourney schedule. Talk to you later. Bye.